Hey, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, call Allah Yimla Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim, Harukha Kudash. I dub on us to our apostles at Great Millstone, who were wed and taught us the truth. He special salutation to Yaakim. Y'all are part of the Bayasha that was at house of David. And to Yaakwa that support the man of the Lord. Um, bear with me through the spirit. Just got to make sure everything is according to plan. Well, not plan, but I want to make sure everything is good on the end of the live stream. And Shalom, uh, my young, it's a lucky if I sound kind of like congested, you know, through the spirit, man. Switched from the spring to now, so my allergies been kicking up a lot. But um, basically, I've been wanting to do this through the spirit, you know, and it's not nitpicking or anything through the spirit, man. But um, as you see the title, it says, uh, Finally, the Ruach Challenge. Now, I don't know if you brothers uh, out there, brothers and sisters out there, been, uh, well, I know you've been watching, but if you came across uh, certain videos basically with IUIC. Um, they're doing this, um, which is self willed anyway, you know, and that's why the apostles bring up, you know, you know, like I was watching Apostle Hard's video um, uh, yesterday, well, this morning basically, and you know, he said basically, you know, if you go to a, you know, these basically these other camps or these other groups, man. You know that that it's it's a, a pot of uh, confusion, man. If you go to the brothers that learn in the apostles of Great Millstone, you know when you go and you ask for answers, like you know what is the Rev Rev thirteen? Because now it's to a point to where we can't even say that anymore. You know we can't even you know we can't even say I don't want to say it because they'll take the video down and they will call it misinformation. But you know you go to these other camps, you know. They're not giving you through the spirit, you know, uh, the 100 percent truth. But if you go to the men that learn under the Apostles of Great Millstone, when you ask the question, OK, you're going to get this pretty much the same answer from every brother. And why is that? Because the scriptures say we are uh, actually let me try to find it real quick. You know, uh, many members. But um, one body. Bear with me uh, real quick. Like I said, uh, as you see, which I'm gonna show y'all the video through the spirit, you know, uh, they got IUIC has this um, uh, this challenge that they're doing, which is no different from something in the world, man, you know? And um, for as being, for as body is one, it has many members, one body. Okay, yeah, here we go. So let me just get this real quick in the spirit. Actually, let me put let me put it so y'all can read it. Screen share. So through the spirit, you know, you now I'm gonna have to just get the whole chapter. Bear with me one moment. I'm not trying to move too fast so the point don't get missed. What is that? First Corinthians 12. Okay, so because at the end of the day, through the spirit, man, you know, you're gonna know the men of the Lord by their fruit, man. Okay. And they're gonna have every, the men of the Lord, the elect are gonna have the same mind state, you know. Here it is right here. This is uh, uh let me see. This uh first Corinthians 12 and um I'm gonna start at four. really the whole chapter is fire, but you know I'm gonna start at one and then probably ease my way down. Uh first Corinthians 12 and one it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. So we were once, and that goes for us, you know, and all of us, you know, that the Lord gave the talents to through the spirit, which we, which we use and we should be using them daily, all right, to feed the sheep, okay? 
you know, those are uh, spiritual uh, gifts. And we were once Gentiles. We were once calling ourselves Americans. We would have probably been in the world doing the bullshit challenges that they're doing, you know, which that challenge stuff. If you if you honestly uh, think about it through the spirit, you know, all these challenges, you had an ice bucket challenge. You had a planking challenge, you know, that these uh, worldly people are doing. And those all went back to what? Uh, uh, um, slave, slave, um, um, slave, either slave um, uh, things that were uh, done in a hardcore slavery times. We're still in slavery, but you know what I mean? Or, you know, or, or torture tactics by Esau. Like you had the ice bucket, ta ice bucket challenge. That was a torture, torture, uh, torture tactic by Esau on your tribes. You had the um, the planking challenge, you know, which we, hey, we were in, we were stacked like sardines in those uh, cargo slave ships, you know. So a lot of these challenges that Esau would would bring out or put forth, all right, those went back to certain things that happy happened. While we were either being brought over here by cargo slave ships or while we were uh, already over in the Americas, man, you know, and if you're a, uh, and if you're a Hebrew Israelite coming into this truth, you know, you should know that these certain challenges go back to certain things, you know. So it says uh, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give uh, you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of Yahweh calleth. Uh, Yahweh Shai a curse, and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord, but by the Holy Spirit, right? Because the Lord said, what did the Lord say? He said, bless, you know, he thanked the Heavenly Father in the book of Matthews that these things were revealed unto the, uh, weren't revealed unto the wise and the prudent, but unto babes, man. But even also that too, the Lord, when the Lord asked Peter, he said, who am I? He said, the son of the most, uh, son of the living power, uh, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord told Peter, he said, you know, flesh and blood did not reveal these things unto you, but the Holy Spirit, but but the, the Heavenly Father from above did, which he revealed uh, to him through what? The Holy Spirit, man. The, the Rehaquadash. Okay. It says, and there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. Yeah. So within the body of Yahweh Shai, within the elect, you're going to have men, you're going to have different administrations, you're going to have different. Uh, you're going to have men with different uh, spiritual gifts. You're going to have men with uh, different um, different roles, man. But it's all going it's all going to be working toward the same the same goal. So like it says, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh in all. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with thought. Why? Because you're going to be working toward you know a, a, a sitting the elect. It says for to one is given. By the spirit word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation, interpretation within. That's why you got through the spirit, like even with the brothers out there in L.A., they have a whole camp with them speaking in tongues, man. But that was them brothers' lot, and that was their gift to help graft in the, the elect, man. And it says, but all these worketh that one in the same, in the self-same spirit, divided to every man severally as he will. So if you're one body, you're going to have the same doctrine. You're going to speak the same thing. Don't the scriptures say, I would rather that you all speak the same thing? You know, actually, I'm going to look that up. Speak. And see what that says, man. You know, it says, for as the body is one and have many members. And that's what we got to realize that this is one body. But it has many members and that many members doesn't mean that all oh, it's going to be all different. No, we all going to be speaking the same thing and doing the same thing through the spirit. All right. It ain't going to be no I'm going to go here then there. Like the apostle said, that's why these unity camps is, is, is confusion because you go to one certain type of group and they're saying one thing and you go to the next and then they saying, you know what I mean? Like it's confusion, man. It's so all members of that one body being many are one body. So is Yahweh Shai, you know? Let me see. But just, just to make the point, because I want to... um. I want to actually, I want to go into this video to show y'all brothers what I'm talking about. 
So, and this is on Instagram, whatever the case may be, but you got um these uh which these uh little little uh I'm you know they shouldn't be teaching or putting this shit up anyway, but so you got these uh, uh IUICs, they're doing a uh, ruach challenge, which really the word ruach that's Yiddish, it should be Rakha. So I guess there's this guy, his name is Captain Ruach, which it should be recall, which we know the Hebrew word for recall is spirit, you know, but it's just folly, man, because they got all oh, do the Ruach channel. Let me just play it to show y'all. So this is this is, this is what Israel is doing now, you know, and it's all through the spirit. That this is coming out, but you know, stay away. We are, we always say, stay away from these other camps, man, because this is folly, man. I'm gonna let y'all watch this. It's a couple more to watch, but I'm gonna get scriptures too. Don't so today we're here with you have to break it down for y'all. Okay, ready. You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply You want that pressure, we got that skill Alright y'all, that was the group I did, y'all just so make sure y'all do it and tune in because it's a rock dance. So y'all sending y'all videos if y'all doing the rock dance, it's gonna be a challenge for y'all. Alright? And the person that does it with a $25 prize. Alright? What you gotta say? Hey, y'all gotta do it good. Y'all gotta do it good. Alright, y'all do good with the prize, alright? Hey man, it's it's the folly, man. It's a couple more though, but hey, this is that self-will stuff, man. You know? And this is, uh, come on now, like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You know, through the spirit and power of your house, should, come on now. You know? Um, this Second Peter's, two, um, Second Peter's 2 and 1, it says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And it's a spirit because bringing this scripture out, let me actually go to the scripture in a blue letter and look at, look up damnable uh, heresies because IUIC is actually known for denying Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Hashai first and foremost, because the Lord comes in his name, you know, but IUIC is known for denying the name, man. You know, so that that's a oh shoot, so like it. That's an actual, you know, hey, that hey, that goes for them. Look, I'm gonna read it again. But there were false prophets among you, also among you, the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. Now let's look up this word heresies, man. And it says damnable heresies. So let's look this word heresies up to the spirit. Let's see what it gives us. All right, heresy. Strong's G139, Hyresis. 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 It says, um, let me see. A body of men following their own tenets of Sadducees, Pharisees, Christians, right? Um, abstractly, this and this and uh, let me see. A chosen, a chosen course of thought and action, hence one's chosen opinion. Now, in opinion wise, this right here, all right, that's a damnable uh heresy, a ruach, a ruach challenge, which even the word ruach that's a damnable heresy because. For one, the the and see that's the thing, man. You know, 
hey man, they, they, they just they just ain't got it, man. These are self-willed Israelites, man. I mean, look at this. And they're idolizing him. That's the dude right there. And then they got Israel. It's just folly, man. It's just folly and like I'm gonna go through it. Look at this. Man. What more can you say? You know? This shit looks You see us, we gon' ride, we'll pull up where you be and hit the streets and bring it. You see us, we gon' ride, we'll pull up where you be and hit the streets and bring it. You see us, we gon' ride, we'll pull up. A lot of these people out here, man, look, man, this the thing that we in through the spirit, man. Hey man. <laughs> I'll read it again, but there were false prophets also among you, the people, among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. Okay? That's exactly what's going to happen, man. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Let's look up that word pernicious. You know, many shall follow their pernicious ways, man. Like I said, this isn't a attack. It's just like, yo, like, damn, like how, like, like how much more worse can stuff get? You know, like, I, like, God damn, you know, we came into this truth out of this world, man, to, you know, Lord willing, be accepted in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashai for a salvation, man. You know, not to do, not to do as this world is is doing, or even the same thing. You are literally, you literally see them, and they look, it look like they just in the world, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the word pernicious, right? Let's see, Salakia, pernicious Apalia. Strong's G, 684, Apolia, Apolia. And it says destroying, they're destroying ways, said they're pernicious ways. They're destroying utter destruction of vessels, perishing, ruin, destruction of money. And we believe that these, these uh, IUICs are paid off anyway. The destruction, which consists of eternal misery in hell, which we know hell isn't a uh, correct but guess what? Hey, those missiles are. It says from a presumed der uh, derivative of uh, G six twenty two ruin or loss. So they're giving up to their own um, pernicious way, with, meaning their own ruin. Damnable destruction, die perdition, perish pernicious ways, waste. So they're giving up to their own waste, man. All right, their destructive waste. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be speaking, be spoken evil of. Right, because if you get on them, guess what? Oh, they always nitpicking and this and that, you know? Um, let me go down. This is one of the points I want to get, though. Which this whole chapter is fire, too, you know? You know what? Let me just keep going. It says, and though covet, covetness shall they, through covetness shall they... With feign words, make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slubbereth not. Why? Because the Lord going to judge them. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sin, which that's us, okay? But cast them down to hell, meaning in a lower state, and delivered them into chains of darkness, meaning these bodies, you go to Jude Jew, Jew 1 and 6, to bring reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of ungodly, man. Because that was the that was the first death. Okay? That was the first death. And guess what? The Lord is going, the second death is going to be by way of fire, man. And delivered, and delivered just lot, just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for the righteous man dwelling among them. And seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, right? Because Lot was around what? A bunch of homosexuals, man. Okay? The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of 
judgment to be punished. And a lot of people right now, man, that haven't kicked the bucket, guess what, man? They're they're reserved until the day of judgment to be punished, man. It says, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, man. And that's literally what it is, man, because the Lord set up who? The apostles, man. You know? But they just, uh, hey, the, the blind lead the blind, and they fall into a ditch, man. Because if your government, let's look up that word government real quick through the spirit, you know? If your government, which we're going we're gonna to see what it says, you know, or the people that's over you, your leaders were wise men, you ain't going to be in no, you ain't going to be in no, uh, uh, let's do a Ruach challenge uh, spirit, man. You're going to be looking toward prophecy. You're going to be, there's a lot more stuff going on in a goddamn dance, man. You know? I, 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 man, look, man. Let me just let the scripture speak, man, because it gets you fired up, man. You know? Strong's G, so 2963, Curiates. Curiates. And it says, dominion, power, lordship, right? Dominion, power, or rulers. It says rulers. Look, strong definition, rulers. Okay? And through the spirit of power, your leaders are the ones, are, are, your, are, are your basically, just like Moses was a what? He was a uh, basically a leader, but also in another sense, he was a ruler over Israel. He, you know, but if your rulers are allowing things to this, to this matter to, to, to be happening, it's like you got to question your leadership, man. Like, yo, you, why are we doing a, a Ruach challenge? <laughs> I even hate saying it, man, but I'm, for you brothers that's barely tuning in, I'm going to play it for you. I got a couple more videos to play, but this shit is mad. We finna man. do that Ruach challenge. Y'all ready? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Look like a goddamn bunch of uh, robots, man. You know, and they got the little, and you know, the main ones that's doing it, doing it is the woman, man. <laughs> you know. All right, so let me go back to Second Peter's, Second Peter's two and ten, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they. Self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. So these are self-willed Israelites, man. They don't have no government. Even when you go to Exodus, man, when Moses went up to get the law, and the commandments through the spirit, man, Israel started getting what? They started getting self-willed, man. That's why they asked uh, um, uh, Aaron to uh, to to make a good Remember what they said? Oh, we don't know what has become of... Uh, uh, Moses. So they start getting self-willed, man. And what and what happened shortly after that? So they they start uh um worshiping that golden calf that Aaron made, you know, and the Lord's anger waxed hot against their ass, man. The Lord wanted to kill their ass off, man. You know. This is self-pleased. It says self-pleasing, self-willed, and arrogant. So these are arrogant Israelites, man. And they, a hey, and if you doing that shit, man, you better repent, man. These are self-willed Israelites. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. I got to play that again. Yo, you see that? They self-willed, man. They are self-willed Israelites, man. And that's and that's idolizing the dude. I guess the dude's name, well, they named it after his Ruach. But hey, man, they're not giving praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Shai, man? You know? Do the Ruach challenge, man. Yo, you know when we get out of here through the spirit, man, let the saints see. Let me, let me get it real quick, man. What is it? Psalms? <laughs> Let 
and loud upon their beds. Lock in. We're going to be singing praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shai and dancing. When when King David was dancing, he was he was hey he was dancing through the spirit of the Lord in victory, but to the victory that Yahweh by Shemel Shai gave him, man. It's Psalms 149 and 5. It says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. And we know with uh, uh, we know we say call Halal Yom Na Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So this isn't given uh, all praises to the Lord. And they call it Ruach, which means spirit. That is a spirit, man. A, a, a evil spirit on them to be doing a dance and to, uh, for themselves. To, to, uh, and idolizing this guy, man. Just like they idolize Nate, man. You know? Hey, these spirits are, 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 hey, these spirits, man, right now, through the, hey, it's a lot of stuff going on, and these spirits are out here, man. You know? Kid, this is like a goddamn bunch of idiots, man. And this ain't and this ain't holy conversation, man. Okay. Like I said, so lucky I'm I'm a little stuffed up, man, from the from the uh weather change and stuff. But this ain't holy conversation. You know. Hey, but the scriptures say the scriptures say they were partying, eating, and drinking until the flood came, man. <laughs> This Second Peter three and eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So we're gonna look up holy conversation, or even just conversation. Period, man. You know, right? Yeah, brother. I'm gonna get y'all brother's scriptures after this too. Like the brother said, uh, they're supposed to be fucking adults, man. And this word, uh, conversation. All right. Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. It says, manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment, man. So, in all holy conversation, man, meaning your conduction of life while you walk in this truth. Okay? Your conduction of life. Why you in this truth, man? And this isn't this isn't how the Lord wants us to get down, man. You know, well, we're, we're if we're going to be the next leaders, you know, or the leaders of Israel, man. This ain't well. Hey, we supposed to be wanting to get the hell out of here, man. Not making up dances, man. It's the same fucking dude. Watch this shit, man. Hits the rock, man. Kid, this is you wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach and read them scriptures, then apply You wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out Jake's still in that shucking and jiving spirit, man <laughs> So, holy conversation manner of life conduct behavior when you come into this truth and you read your history show me show me a a, a challenge a, a, that type of challenge in the scriptures man you know like i said i'm gonna read this again psalms 149 and 5 let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of yahweh be in their mouth you got a captain ruach challenge let the high praises of the Heavenly Father be in their mouth. And right now, through the Spirit, man, we're, we're just giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim al Shai for, you know, waking us up, being able to go on the street corners, you know, giving us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, but what is this What is this challenge shit, man? Let them uh, 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 in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. 
to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So when we, even when we get out of here, you know, the scriptures talk about in Revelations, man. Let the uh, let, let me let me get it real quick. The harpers. Um, let me see. See if I can find it through the spirit. Let them have the harps of the most high. I know brothers probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stand upon a sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Like I said, some rocket, man. I'm, I'm fucking going through it over here. Yep, here it is, right here. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Right, this Revelation is 15. And one, it says, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And, you know, that's talking about the nuclear destruction, man. After the um, after we get out of here on those chariots, Guess what, man? We're going to see the, like it says in Isaiah, we're going to see the earth rock to and fro like a drunkard, but we're going to be on those ships. So what John the Revelator is seeing is, is the firmament of, of the earth, okay, which they call it the so-called ozone layer. But he's seeing also, too, from up in those ships, the, uh, the nuclear destruction. And it looks like a sea of glass mingled with fire, okay? It says, and them... They had gotten the victory over the beast. And them that is talking about is who? The elect. And over his image and over his mark, which, hey, which through the spirit, you know, hey, hey, <laughs> you can't even say, you can't even say the mark, no. You know what I mean? Like, damn, if I even, yeah, you know, but you know, the John, the John, thir I mean, uh, Revelation 13, 16. That's what I'm going to say, <laughs> you know, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass. Right. And no ships having the harps of Yahweh. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh, our power, almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. So we're going to be singing songs to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. And that goes to show you through the spirit that these men, all right, these people have a, uh, a man serving spirit on them, you know? Who shall not fear thee, O Yahweh, and glorify thy name? Why aren't they seeking songs and doing, you know, and, and which is folly anyway, but doing it for Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man? Because you know what, man? That, that congregation, they don't even believe in the names of the Lord anyway, man. You know? For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And you know what? More judgments are about to start being made manifest, man. You know? This shit is sad. Like, it gets you pissed. It gets me mad, man. It, it definitely has me, you know, like, not to where it's like, 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 oh, I can't. But it's like, damn, like, how, you know, I, yeah, how about you? How much longer, man? You know? This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. It says, and you have he quickened, right? Mean, mean it made you alive, quickened to, you to what? The understanding of this truth. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. And that was our old life, man. We were dead in trespasses and sin. We were literally dead. And what makes you dead? Walking without the understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, which is this truth, man. And you see these uh, these uh, members doing this goddamn challenge. They're dead while they're walking, man. Literally, this is the last one. Take Kid, this is you show. wanna pull up on the prophets, come and try It don't matter where we be at, when you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at, hit the streets and bring it out It's crazy, man That's enough of them, though <laughs>
I said, hey, this ain't glorified him anyway, but I'm going to go back into the scripture real quick. It says, wherein in time past, he walked according to the course of this world. And that's a, that's what they're still walking according to the course of this world, man. You know? That's why Solomon said what he said real quick. I got uh, folly scriptures. This is, um, oh, man. Let me see if it's in Ephesians. I mean, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. <sighs> so lock it, bear with me. But here goes one. It's Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in no place. And that's what this word has become, a place of great folly. When you look that word folly, up, it means foolishness. <sighs> These motherfuckers look literally like fools, man. They look like fools. Look at this, man. Just, just foolishness, man. The Ruach challenge. And then they talking about twenty-five dollars. Whoever does it the best, man. And they using these, these little young, uh. uh woman to orchestrate this shit, man. <sighs> they be out there teaching all type of shit. I was looking at that shit like, what the hell, man? Let me see. But that's because their leaderships, uh, their leaders caused them to earn. <sighs> you know, that's what the scriptures say. Where is it at? Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. <sighs> This on it, man. Like I said, Salakia through the spirit, man. Oh. All right, let me just get it. Oh, man. Yeah. Like I said, this ain't no shot. You know, you're going to have people that come out of that. But that, God damn. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 17 and uh, 1 and 17. And I gave my heart to know wisdom. And to know madness and folly, and that's madness and folly, man. I perceive that this is also vexation of spirit, man. <sighs> right. And what we're looking at is folly. Let me see if I can find that video. And these little chicks, man, are going out and teaching and 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 putting up uh, videos and all type all type of shit, man. Let me show you. Been taught. I mean, I've been through Catholic school my entire life. So, if you were in the uh, burning the brass furnace, you you would come out white. Absolutely. Well, I mean, ash white. You would be dust. Okay. When you burn it so far, yeah, it's like a gray. Woman ain't even supposed to be out doing this, man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get a couple more, and I'm gonna close up. But their leadership, the, look, this is a part of their leadership failing them. <sighs> Okay, and you see they follow how you I see this is a part of their leadership failing it, Nate. Because they shouldn't be out there asking people questions anyway, face to face. Because he's a young woman, they're supposed to be in the house, man. Guess what, man? Their leaders do cause them to earth. <sighs> see. Yeah, uh, Isaiah 9 and 16, it says, For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed, man. And that's why Yahweh Shai, quote unquote, said, What? They be leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, they do what, man? They fall into a ditch. So what's going to happen? <laughs> you know? Oh, shoot, where's Ephesians? I'm going to get this last little bit in Ephesians and I'm going to close out. <laughs> Uh, through the spirit, man. Um, let me see. Ephesians 2. Ephesians uh, 2 and uh, 1, it says, Where in times past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, man. <laughs> Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. Right. And our conversation meaning what? <laughs> Our, our, our code of conduct, or how we walk and conduct ourselves 
in the in the in in, in the in how we walk in our, and conducted ourselves in the world. But now this new conversation, our holy conversation, separate conversation, okay, and we're supposed to be walking according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, not according to the past, man. All right, or what or, or what these people walk toward, because the world is and these people in the world, including our people, mainly our people, they're susceptible to the wickedness of this world, man. So they walk according to the flesh, but we're supposed to be walking according to the spirit, man, of the Lord, man. It says, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and where and where by nature the children of wrath, even as others, man. So we were once in the stead of being the children of wrath, man. You know. And you still got two thirds that are a part of that, man. But guess what, man? The Lord quickened our spirit, man. We ain't dead no more. You, you, Akim, Wa Akwaf, that's out there that watch, that follow sincerely, okay? You're made a living spirit, man. And what makes you live in this word, man? The breath of life, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like the Lord, uh, like uh, Ezekiel said, the Lord said, Can these bones live? Okay? The Lord gave him that breath of life back, man. Okay? So that's us, that exceeding great army. The men first and foremost, okay? It says, even, uh, but Yahweh, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. And this is love, man, that the Lord woke us up. <laughs> even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Yahweh Shai, by grace ye are saved. Now, grace doesn't give us what? Uh, uh, a, 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 a license to sin. It gives us a time period to do what? Get right before the coming day of the Lord, man, which everybody's going to have to go before the judgment seat of the Heavenly Father, man. Whether your, whether your deeds be good or bad for what you've done in this flesh, man. You know? But, um, hey, through the Spirit, man, I mean, that's that's pretty much the point. Like I said, I'm a little jacked up right now, but that's pretty much the point through the Spirit, man, that I wanted to bring out. I'm going to get a couple of you brother's scriptures real quick. Well, I usually try to get the ones at the end. Um, let me see. I'll probably just get this brother's scripture right here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done in decency and in order. Yeah, that's right. And if, hey, if you ain't got no order, where well, there's no order, there's chaos, right? So, hey, if things aren't done in order, like, like I said through the Spirit, the leaders of this people cause them to earn. Why? Because everything's unorderly. So where there is no order, there's chaos, man. You know? You think the Lord's looking down like, yo, they doing that challenge. That shit hard, you know, it, you know, we're going to be doing that up here. No, man, because it's folly. What does that have to do with the ministry of the Lord, man? What does that have to do with grafting the sheep in? Where's the warnings at? The scriptures tell us to, to warn the, the sheep, man. You know? To warn them about the up and coming things that are coming. And then this uh, uh, dude, Biden, he just said that uh, June is going to be a uh, heavy jab month, man. We in the time of war, pestilence, disease, destruction, things that's going on, the chariots are showing themselves. The Lord is taking away the, uh, I mean, slowly taking away his uh, word from off the internet because they keep flagging and striking brothers' pages. So what conduct or manner of, uh, 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 manner of conversation should you be in? Prophecy. But Hey, with that, I'm going to say, call Allah Yimla, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushad, Ba'ashim HaRachah Kadash, the Abana Star Apostles at Great Millstone, who were wedded, taught us his truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, Akim, that's part of the Ba'ashah Da'udah, the House of David, to you, Akwaf, all right, that watch and support the men of the Lord, that's putting their good foot forward, man. Yo, we almost out of here, man. Keep your eyes peeled through the Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, and, and you know, hey, through the Spirit, man, We, you know, till, till tomorrow, till next time, man. Shalom.